some of you were very close on my age. Some of you, well, not so much. I mean, you were all in the range. You, you, I gave too many hints. I, I, I was talking about the 80s music and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, several of you got it. I think I'm 54 now, maybe, maybe. 50, yeah, I'm 54. I'm 54 years old. Don't even know how old I am. I quit keeping track. But, uh, but there you go. Some of you were very, very close. Some of you may have been right on. I'm going to have to go back and check the comments. I haven't answered them yet. I've been busy. I'm going to try to answer those this evening when I sit down. But there you go. Also, let me just tell you, that video is not getting a lot of play, and I don't know why. I mean, I, I was really proud of that video. And dinosaurs. Who knew there were going to be dinosaurs in the Bee Castle Bee Yard? All right, fellas and fellettes, we have our work cut out for us today. Burning up a... Uh, a tree that fell down in the front yard. My son is cleaning up branches. Anyways, we have our work cut out for us today. We've got uh, we've got some some big things we need to do, and it's going to start with condensing both the Space Force and Coast Guard hives, because the goal is to get those two hives broken down into a place where I can condense them tape them up, seal them, put them in my car, and take them over to the Bee Castle yard. This is going to be hive 8 and 20, or 8 and 20, I don't know which one, but that's the plan for today. Not a whole lot to it. Um, I am also going to give all of these girls some pollen patties. Now look at this, that's, that's interesting. My wife helped put the, uh, the sugar syrup on here, and it looks like we've got some girls living in top of that box. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's the girls that absconded from the blue hive. Wouldn't that be interesting if we found the, uh, the blue queen in there? We'll take a look in there today as well. So there you go, that's the plan. We've got the cameras ready to set up. I'm holding one right now. Let me get my gear on, my smoker lit, and we will uh, we'll get started. All right, let's see what we can do here. Well, my smoker is having a hard time staying lit because it's, it's like 8.30 in the morning, 88 degrees, humid as it can be. It's gonna get up into like 98, 99 today. It's going to be a very, very hot day, but this has to be done. All right, all right, all right. Oh, we have a lot of bees in here. I don't know how they've survived, to be honest with you. And your bucket is empty. Oh, this is a very strong hive. I mean, this hive is stupid strong. Hello. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I don't see any, I don't see any hive beetles, that's a bonus. I did see a few on one of the other buckets the other day. Let's see what you got going on here. Apparently life is good for you. This hive is doing very well. All right ladies, what do we have happening here? Okay, that is, that is all bee bread and sugar syrup. These girls are in great shape. Okay, no getting crazy on me. Give you a little bit more smoke because it is dearth. I don't want to get attacked. I also don't want these girls to get robbed. Okay, so we have, I can see one piece of capped brood on that side. Do I see a queen on there? I don't. We have a few pieces of capped brood on this side. And I see a girl hatching right now. I was going to give these girls a, a pollen patty to try to boost their numbers before the move. Their numbers don't need boosted. They're drawing that frame out on both sides. This hive is a very strong hive. I was not expecting this at all. Oh, there's a full frame of brood. Let me tell you, that is some of the best brood that I've seen this summer. It's a nice, tight pattern. It's a small, small circle of brood, but it's a tight pattern. And that is better, same thing on this side, than I've seen in a lot of hives this summer. This has been a bad summer for me. This has been a bad season altogether. And here's something else that, that, that you can do while you're uh, going through this hive with me. Keep your eyes peeled for drones. There are no drones in my bee yard this season, or the other bee yard for that matter. There were some in the spring, 
But ever since since uh, dearth set in, there are no drones. Beautiful. See any drones in there? Keep your eyes peeled. Drones and queens, drones and queens, that's what we're looking for. Drones and queens. I see neither. There you go. Don't necessarily need to queen, but if I can combine this this box and that box, that would be wonderful. Not here to hurt you. Okay. Another fantastic frame. Now this is this is resources. I see bee bread all over it. But I do not see any drones. Now maybe all the drones are out flying around looking for queens. I mean I guess that is a that is a possibility. I mean it's in my opinion that's unlikely, but it is a possibility. No drones, no queen on this frame. Go ahead and keep this one out for a second while we go to the next one. Oh, I'm just sweating like a pig. Okay, there's a nice frame of brood. That is a beauty. Okay. That is a good frame. It's good on this side as well. Do I see the queen? I do not. Okay, so we're going to put this one. That's a keeper. Okay, another solid frame of brood. That is beautiful. Just beautiful. Same on this side. I have, I have a guard in front of my face, so that's uh, that's new. All right, I do not see any drones on that one either. Well, I tell you what, I hope I can condense this hive. I guess what the plan will be is any frame that does not have brood on it, I'm going to pull out. Oh, solid frame. That's a beauty right there. That is a beauty on both sides. Okay. All right, let me have a look. Oh, another frame of brood. Okay, is that a queen cell? No. Looks like it used to be. Okay. Nice frame of brood. Still no drones. Nice frame. I don't know that there's going to be any frames that I can remove from this medium. I don't know that it's going to happen. They've got they've got brood everywhere. And no brood there, but they're storing nectar. That's a resource frame. I think this hive. Yeah, all the uh, all the sugar syrup is right here, and I'll bet on the next one, which means I can't take those frames because these girls need to eat. They've got a huge population. They've got to feed here. It looks like I'm going to be sealing up a three-frame hive and hauling it to the Bee Castle yard. Beautiful. Still no drones. Nice. And the next one, they're actually capping sugar syrup. Okay. So here's the thing. We have a queen in this box. I'm not going down to the bottom because all I can see is a ton of bees. This hive is not going to get a pollen patty. And this hive is not going to get condensed. Oh, and I'm just pouring sweat. It is so stinking hot out here. Holy moly. I mean, it's just it's pouring. I can see it splashing in the hive. Now, you know what? You're not getting the bucket feeder back on. You have plenty of resources in there. Okay, I'm giving you the soft landing. Get out of the way. All right, I didn't hear any bee bones break. All right, so this is going to go over to the Bee Castle Bee Yard as a three-layer hive. Now it's going to be moved over into the 10-frame Bee Castle hives, which means I'm going to have a couple of frames left over, but there were a couple of frames in the upper box that didn't have any brood on. They were just drawing them out, so that is okay. I'm going to have 24 frames, a 20-frame hive. I think everything will be okay and right with the world. Um, but these girls are in great shape. Let's, uh, let's move on to Space Force and see how it's doing.
All right, so this hive is completely up, upside down. I've got the deep on the top and two mediums on the bottom. But uh, let's get in here and see what these girls are doing. Maybe they're uh, going to be in great shape, just like the Coasties. Hello. I am so hot. I hope they're not dead. No, no, they're still in here. There's a hive beetle. All right, let's... Uh, this is going to be an easy box. This top box, it's only got one, two, three, three frames fully drawn. And they're just drawing these out. So this is going to be the deep for the bottom. Let's, uh, yeah, we'll look at it really quick. Why not? We're here. Might as well have a look. Might as well have a look, see, see what's going on. Oh, goodness. So I can tell you this. I have big plans for next year, provided I can keep my bees alive. Big, big plans. I also plan, now this is tentative, on uh, opening up another bee yard. And I hope that, uh, see, there's not a lot going on there. I hope that I can keep my bees alive until then, because this summer has been brutal. So far, I have lost four hives in the summertime. And that is just terrible. Three of them were robbed out, and one of them absconded. We were just in the blue hive last week, I believe it was. Well, the blue hive is gone. Okay, there's not a lot going on in here at all. I'm going to go ahead and take this box off. Oh, there we go. All right, let's see here. What do we have? Now, see, the problem with condensing this hive is going to be that the bottom two mediums, the ones that I would condense, are probably filled with bees. In here. Come on, get out of the way. I don't want anybody to get hurt. You know, we have one right there that's already already hurt. The old squasheroo on you. Here we go. Nice and slow. There we go. What do we have happening there? Okay, so we're doing the same drill in this in this hive as we did in the other one. See if you can find any drones. I did not see the first drone in the other hive. I see hive beetles, though. Son of a gun. There's another one. There's another one right there. There's another one right there. I should have brought my Beetle Smasher 3000 out here. It fits in those cells nicely. All right, that was a lot of hive beetles. Okay. You hear that tractor start? My son is hauling branches and he's doing it uh, doing it by himself. Driving the tractor and loading and unloading, kind of policing himself, doing some chores today. Told him what I wanted accomplished and gave him the tools and we're gonna see what happens at the end of the day. Okay, we have a queen laying in here. But I've got brood. And I've got milk brood and larva all over this frame. Just, I don't know whether you can see it in the, in the video or not. There's larva all over the place in that frame. Okay, I don't see the queen. But I certainly do not see any drones. Where are the drones? Where? Maybe I should get one of those drone frames and see if I can coax a queen into laying on it. Okay, there's another really nice frame of brood. On both sides, I've got an angry guard on me right now. I guess they're tired of being dripped on. Okay, I think what I'm going to do... I'm not going to look for the queen. I know she's in here. These girls are getting angry. I think what I'm going to do... Just give them a little spritz of smoke. And then I'm going to put the big box on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and reconfigure this. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm going to be taking the whole thing over to the, to the bee castle yard and taking these these frames out anyways so it's not gonna matter they've got brood so I'm, I'm happy with that they've also got food I saw resources in there that's good so we're gonna go ahead and button this up and that's all I really needed to do today however I did go through those hives on the front row last week 
and the, the, the brood pattern on all the hives that I went through was shotgun at best. And the disappointing part about that is, is that those hives, the, the four that I went through, the bee barns, they all had brand new queens. Hi, bee. Brand new queens. They were unmarked, brand new queens of this year. So that tells me that with the drone shortage that's going on, they were probably poorly mated. Either that or there's just no pollen. And I didn't see much bee bread in those hives, um, which means that maybe they're just not laying right now. So I'm going to go ahead and give each one of those hives each one of the bee barns on the front row a pollen patty right now see if that will help them um, beef up their brood game okay so I did make these pollen patties small because the hive beetles I, I know that pollen patties and hive beetles they don't they don't mix well especially in the hot summer um, but these hives are on the front row I have killed a lot of hive beetles that I've seen in the purple hive last week I believe it may have been the crown bees I'm not sure but uh, the brood patterns were spotty these girls are gonna get some food All right, well, there you go, the end of another adventure. Now, I tell you what, this didn't turn out the way that I had planned. I thought for sure that the, the Coast Guard and Space Force hives were gonna be weak like the rest of the hives, and they were not. They are very, very strong, which means I wasn't able to get them down into two boxes, which means I'm gonna have to transport those to the Bee Castle Bee Yard in a three, three box configuration, which is not something I'm looking forward to doing. That is, even if my Subaru can handle a three, three hive configuration back in the back, I don't know if it's tall enough, I may have to borrow my neighbor's truck. Um, Anyways, it's, it's 10.30 in the morning. It's, it's 87 degrees. It's, it's about 98% humidity. It's just miserable outside. So I'm going to call it a day. But before I do, I want to thank everybody who provided a name for the Blue Queen. And for those of you who voted on the names that were provided for the Blue Queen in the Blue Hive, because the Blue Queen in the Blue Hive is gone, as are all of her workers. They absconded. And if you remember last week when I fed the bees, I came out here and I just kind of dumped the bucket onto the blue hive. Well, it has a screen bottom board and, and sugar syrup went down through the hive onto the ground, which brought in the ants and they could not resist. And they just took over that hive. So there are about 50 or 60 dead bees in the bottom of it, but the rest of them, they're off in the ether. I checked the trees, I couldn't find them. I hope they have a good life wherever it is that they, uh, they went to. I'm sure they will if they took enough syrup with them because there is nothing in the environment right now. Anyways, with all of that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I do try to drop a video every Friday. We try to keep it light and have fun. So with all that said, be happy, and I will see you next week. Take care.